In this video, you'll learn how to sew a ballet outfit for an 18-inch doll. It includes a leotard, a tutu, and ballet slippers. It will fit an American Girl doll, Our Generation, My Life, or a Journey Girl. To get started, you need a piece of tulle, you need ribbon, thread, some pins, the pattern that you can download from the Etsy site. Uh, I use scuba material, so it's like swimsuit material, and a pair of scissors, and of course your sewing machine. So I've cut my pattern pieces out from my fabric. For the body, I've made sure to have the front edge along a fold so that I can open it and it's actually just one piece. For the shoes, for the top of the shoes, there are four pieces, all the same, and then two pieces for the bottom of the shoes. For the tutu, I have three strips of tulle, and these strips are each 60 inches long and seven inches wide. I'm going to start with the tutu. Uh, for the tutu, take the three layers of tulle and put them one on top of each other, and then with a basting stitch, so with a fairly long stitch, I'm going to set mine to 4.5, uh, sew straight down the middle of the tulle, so three and a half inches in, and don't back stitch at either end because you want to leave the seam open for shirring. Now that I've sewn down the center of the tool, I'm going to take just the top thread from the end and I'm going to pull this to gather it and I want this to be about nine and a half inches long when it's done. So I've gathered the tutu to about nine or nine and a half inches and tied knots in the end strings and trimmed them. And at this point you have two options. The first option, if you'd like to make a removable tutu, is to take a 25 inch length of ribbon and matching the middles, put it over the seam and using a straight stitch on your machine, stitch down the middle of that. Um, option two is to attach the tutu to the leotard, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to set this aside for now and come back to it a bit later. I've pinned the tutu to the leotard um, along the line that's marked off on the pattern and now just using a straight stitch I'm going to stitch this to the leotard along that line and I've started about three quarters of an inch in from either side to allow me to finish that back edge later. So at this point I have the armholes finished I have the leg openings, I have that edge finished, and I've stitched the tutu to the leotard. Pin the right sides of the top straps together, and a quarter of an inch from the edge, stitch a straight stitch along that to fix the two sides together. The next step is to finish the edge around the neck. So the same way that you rolled the ins or rolled the edge of the armholes and the leg holes, you're going to roll the inside or roll towards the inside about a quarter of an inch and then stitch an eighth of an inch away from the edge, making sure to open the seam when you get to the shoulder. After you finish the neck edge, it's time to do the velcro on the back. So it, for one of the back edges up till where the notch happens right there, you're going to fold that over about a quarter of an inch and then stitch it down. Be careful not to catch the tool in your seam. On the other side, fold your material over 3 8 of an inch and do the same thing. Now you're ready to put Velcro on your leotard. Um, I have these adhesive Velcros. They work pretty well, but you might also want to get some Velcro uh, circles or even just a strip of Velcro that you can sew on. Make sure when you put the velcro on the other side that it's on the top. So this one is on the wrong side, these velcro tabs are on the wrong side, the other ones are going to go on the right side of the fabric.
So I have right sides together and I'm going to stitch along the back edge, um, along the curved part of the back edge until I get to just beneath the Velcro. Uh, be careful when you're doing this seam not to catch the tool in it. The last seam for the leotard is to stitch the bottom pieces together um, in the crotch section of the leotard. Make sure when you stitch that seam that you open up that middle seam on the back piece. Alright, you're ready to turn the leotard right side out and then you can separate the layers of the tutu to fluff it up. For the shoes I've already taken two of the pieces and sewn them together along the inside edge and I'm going to do the same thing with the remaining two pieces. Because you don't really want to iron scoop a material, um, when you turn this right side out just pin it using a lot of pins and so when you're done, it should look like this. So it'll be pretty hard to work with this with all the pins, so I'm going to baste very, very close to the edge to secure those two sides together. I've cut two 25 inch lengths of ribbon and I'm going to fold one in half and put it at the back edge of one of the shoes and stitch that in place. So it's at the top of the back. Then I'm going to take the other side and fold it over and stitch along that back edge. So when you fold it right side out, that ribbon should be coming out from the back of the shoe. And then repeat with the other shoe. So I've taken one of the bottom sole pieces of the shoes and I've pinned the center with right sides together. I've pinned the center of the top uh, part of the shoe and the center of the back part of the shoe together. And then starting from the back, I'm going to stitch a quarter of an inch away from the edge all the way around the shoe. Turn the shoe right side out. Once you finish the shoes, you can put them on your doll and wrap the ribbon around the legs, tying it around in the back. Um, detailed instructions for this are found in the pattern that you can download on the Blue Whimsy Etsy site.